Honorable Prime Minister, my name is Ronald Dungu, Education Expert, Prime Minister's Delivery Unit. I'm a teacher by profession, and when I teach mathematics, I teach mathematics from the garden. I taught for a long time in Gayazai School, that is why Gayazai School is a hub for agriculture education. I love the program-based approach to planning. I'm saddened that the Minister of Education doesn't seem to be represented here. The Honorable Minister, uh, Minister Mingo, has been present since morning. I missed him in the introduction, sorry for that. But I would love to suggest that all ministries need to cluster around the Minister of Education. If we are talking about NDP3 and the programs there, and we are talking about agro-industrialization, then what is happening in schools must be a focus. We have case studies that we've been developing. I'm a front runner in encouraging teachers to teach from the gardens, to teach through agricultural activities. We need to visit schools that are already doing well, but we need NPA to take this story to the education, to the schools, we have so many children dropping out of school before primary uh, leaving examinations. Can we give them a skill before they leave? Can your neck talk to the programs? Can we stop seeing this examination-based program and we go for skill-based programs? It is possible, it has been done, we have examples. I thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Jungu. You have raised an important point. Are they skilling so that uh, people are prepared to do that? Okay, yes. Mr. Ronald Jungu, delivery unit of here. I think you have rightly appreciated the program of base, uh, the uh, program of um, program based planning and your suggestion that all ministries have to cluster around the Minister of Education. Arguably true. Why am I agreeing with you? Because countries that have actually made it are those that have invested heavily in uh, developing their human capacities. Countries like South Korea, countries like Malaysia, countries like Japan, countries like uh, Singapore, they intentionally, when they were beginning to develop, invested heavily in training their youth, their every bodied uh, nationals, flew them to universities like Harvard, Cambridge, but they were very intentional in making sure that all these brain brains come back to the country. We can leapfrog, and that's what, what Professor Chirene was saying, that if we're going to plug Karamoja, Teso, Bukedi, these areas have to also intentionally invest in universities. We can't, we can't avoid it. It is about knowledge generation. It's about investing in our education. So, in a way, we need to definitely upscale our focus and resources in education because that is key. It's the trigger, one of the many trigger factors of transforming our society. Um, Skills-based programs, you're very right. Early skilling so that our people can be prepared for real life is key. And I think that in NDP3, we are very, very clear about it. We are saying skilling Ugandans is going to be top priority, more, much more focused on than it has ever been before. We need that, we need Ugandans that really think right. Club for the chair of the National Journal of I think she gave good answers, she was open-minded and ready to get, to get good ideas uh, so that they are digested and analyzed and incorporated in the development planning. So thank you very much. Colleagues, uh, Honourable Ministers, there may be a burning issue that uh, you may want to react to. We are one hour behind schedule, so we'll really be closing because of time management. Yes, and Mwingo, Minister of State for Higher Education, and the leading educationist, I must say. Thank you very much, Right Honourable Prime Minister. Right Honourable Prime Minister, I just want to agree with you. My colleague in the teaching profession, Mr. Dungu, and Pamela, about early skilling of Ugandans. But I just wanted to add one small thing that probably didn't come out in Pamela's submission, is that the Minister of Education right now 
is currently reviewing the curriculum, what is being taught to our children. And the emphasis is vocationalizing the entire education system right from primary up to the end. Uh, we started somewhere, we started with the big big institutions, business technical education training institutions, where they review the curriculum, the farmers are involved, the industries are involved. So many stakeholders at this time have been involved, particularly those who are in the field. We have moved down this year, come 2020, we are rolling out a new lower secondary curriculum, beginning with this one. And when you look at the whole of it is competence-based. So the worries that my colleagues have are being seriously addressed and the garden, gardener you talked about is being involved in the development and reviewing of the curricula. Thank you very much. I just wanted to add that and say thank you very much, Pamela.